Welcome to a tutorial video on learning JavaScript ES6. In this video, I'm going to talk about arrow functions. A very common usage in ES5 and other versions of JavaScript are the use of anonymous functions to do some small task. It is very common to see them when moving through data or dealing with other tasks that uses a quick function. Usually we'd write an anonymous function that is a function without a name and we do some small task. Well, arrow functions in ES6 basically fill that same hole, but they allow us to reduce the total syntax when writing them. And so we can see two examples right here. The first of which, lines 1 through 12, are the ES5 version, the very common version we might see in other, other versions of JavaScript. You notice we're using var here because that would be very common in ES5 and other versions of JavaScript. I'm defining a function. I'm defining another, I'm defining an array that is, I'm defining an empty array on line 5, and then I'm using for each to move through those. Notice we're defining an anonymous function right here on line 7 that extends down here and is the parameter path to the for each function itself. So we're using an anonymous function to do the work inside of another function. Very common usage of an anonymous function within JavaScript. Moving down to the ES6 version, which is lines 16 through 28, we see a slightly different syntax change. Now I'm using let instead of var, which is common within ES, ES6, and within the for each, I'm using an arrow function. Now an arrow function is more or less exactly what it describes. That is, I'm now using an arrow to define a function. So instead of using the function keyword here and then defining its parameter list, similar to line 7, this right here, we can just define the parameter and then use the arrow to say, this is now a function. And then we can give it a function body and it will work within this context. Notice the inside code doesn't look that different. I've changed the array each time, so it's using different arrays. But the actual result, the actual code it's doing, is not any different. The simple change between these is that we can use arrow functions, this simplified shorthand syntax, in place of anonymous functions. And in fact, in nearly all cases where we would have used an anonymous function, we can just use an arrow function instead, and it will reduce the syntax and actually lead for a greater readability in some cases. So notice instead of having a function and then parameterless v, we just have a v, this is the parameter, and this arrow standing for an arrow function. And if I run this, we see the results are exactly the same. The code internally didn't really change that much, but instead of using an anonymous function, we're now using an arrow function instead. And again, this is just some extra syntax ES6 has introduced to allow us to shorthand this. This very common exp expression we see, especially in using for each and other common functions like that, where we supply a function as a parameter that does something real quick. We can use error functions to reduce the overall code and shrink it using this shorthand syntax. Thanks for watching.